Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new application by Google so that you can create your own new tab extension that not only changes the way that new tab looks and you can use this in the classroom to share content with your students. You can share designs, information, links, maybe some reminders. Everything can be done by using Tab Maker by Google. So let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing you'll have to do is navigate to the website tabmaker.withgoogle.com. Now I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you are wondering where to go. Once you're on the website you will see the make your own button. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on make your own and this now opens up the editor. Now when we click on get started it shows us quickly how it works and on the right hand side we see the preview of our new tab what will our new tab look like? There's a couple of templates here. We have this template. We have a second template here where we can add text and then two images. A third with a simple image. We have a three image and a text in the middle. All different templates. I'm going to select template one and then click on next. Now the next step is to create a Google Sheet. Now that Google Sheet is going to have all the information that you want represented on that new tab and then Tab Maker will take the information and create a visually pleasing new tab experience. Here we can either try it with example content or we can add our own content. So let's go ahead and click on add our own content. This opens up that special spreadsheet template and we even have some information on what to do. So it tells us first create a copy, then the second step add content to the sheet and then the third step is to publish our spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on file, make a copy, and we will title this my new extension. Click on OK. We no longer need this first sheet, so let's go to step two. And here we now fill in the information. So at the top, we have a reminder of the template we've chosen. As you remember, we had the top was a single image, another image, and then six smaller images. And here we can see clearly where that goes. So we have a page, a background image, we have a block, a second block, a third block, and so on and so forth. So to start off, let's just fill out the information for page one. Now the reason I've picked this template is because I want to use it to share the timetable with our students. Now you can see there are six blocks in the middle and these will be their six sessions. So we have period one, two, three in the morning and then period four, five, six in the afternoon. So let's go ahead and fill that out. Block one, that will be the day. So we're going to type Monday. And let's say that block two, the first period of the day is maths. So we're going to type in maths. Then block three, which is the second period will be English. Then they have a computer science lesson. First block of the afternoon will be a science lesson. And then block seven, which is humanities. So let's type that in right there, humanities. Now, this is just a simple example. You can use images, you can use text, you can use anything you want for these special extensions. So we're going to preview that. Here at the top, we'll have the day, Monday. Then we'll have the six different periods of the day. And then at the bottom, number eight, we can use that for some additional information. So let's go ahead and fill out block number eight. And then here we're going to type, please remember to check Google Classroom assignments for feedback. So we have our eight blocks, everything's filled out and we only have a single page. But if you wanted to have multiple pages, you could simply fill out this page two row with your second page of the new tab. So let's say that the second day I have the exact same subjects, but I'm going to change Monday to Tuesday. Okay, so now the next step is to publish this as a CSV file. So we're going to go to File, then we find Share, and Publish to Web. So now here we're going to change a couple of things. This entire document needs to be changed to Step 2 only. So we're going to select Step 2. And then instead of web page, we're going to select CSV file, comma, separated values file. Go ahead and click on publish. This will publish this to the web and we get a URL. Here you can see that URL. We can copy that URL because that's important. And then it's back to the Tab Maker website. Back in the Tab Maker website, we put our URL at the bottom and click on next. 
This is now gathering all the information and content from that spreadsheet and it's pulling it into our preview. Here on the right hand side, you can see we have our preview. We can click on this little icon to edit. So we can edit this box. We can change the font size. Let's make it a bit larger, font color, font style, and we can even add some decoration to it. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can give this block a color. So let's just give the top a nice soft color. There we go. Background alpha will be the same. And let's leave the padding as it is. Now the others will leave them just as they are, but you can play around with the formatting of this text and the boxes. Okay, here we go. Time to click on next. So we're going to go to next. And this brings us to the next block that we can then edit and we can go through all our blocks. Once we've done that, we're going to give our extension a name. So let's give this a name. We're going to call this the demo new tab. And at the bottom, we can add a description demo of how new tab works. Now we also have the option to add our own icon. You can change this icon. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to select a different icon here. I'm going to go for this one and click on done. Now you can also upload your own icons if you have those available. Let's click on download zip file. Okay, now the next step is to unzip this zip file. So we're going to open it up in the folder, right click on this and extract to the folder tab maker. All the files we need are in that folder now so we can continue on to the next step. Now we can either upload it to the Chrome web store or we can share and use it privately, which is what I'm going to do now. So let's go ahead and click on share use privately. And this gives you a breakdown as well as a video of where you can go. Now you will see that you have to go to the Chrome extensions first because that's where you're going to load it. So here at the top, you will see I've gone to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions and I've turned on the developer mode. In the top right corner, you'll see that developer mode. Once that's on, you can load your extension. Click on load unpacked. We have our tab maker. Let's open that folder. Click on the extension folder and select folder. All those files are pulled in and you'll immediately see it's right here. The extension is there. You can pin this. So here at the top, you'll see I have my extensions. If I want to pin it, you'll always see it, but we don't have to pin that. It will still work. It is turned on and so we can get started. Let's reset our browser. So now when I open a new tab, you'll see change back to Google or not. No, I will keep it, keep using this extension. And here is my new tab. Now, as an admin, you can push out these extensions as well. And so you can have a domain wide extension just for your students. This will automatically be pushed out to all the Chromebooks and every account that is logged into Chrome so that they see that new tab. This could have reminders. It could have famous quotes, maybe some of your favorite books. Maybe you highlight the books that the different teachers are reading by simply adding in those images and then adding a little bit of information or the books blurb. This is an incredibly useful tool. Now, once you've had a play with Tab Maker, let me know in that comment section below, how are you using it in the classroom? Do you see it having a place for professional development or for your students? And how do you think this will impact the way our students use the new tab? I'd love to hear so in that comment section below. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And you can also join the channel for some additional perks and an invite to our private Discord server where we can discuss this video, other videos, and the integration of educational technology. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.